Spinosaurus are incredibly well-rounded all-terrain creatures that gain increased speed, power and agility when in water, making them a great choice of mount. That's why I decided to design a Spino trap that's cheap, simple to build and easy to use and in this video I'll show you what I came up with. Let's get cracking. Ari Tinkers, I'm Toast Bloke and I'm back on Ark Survival Ascended because I want to share with you my design for a Spinosaurus trap and here it is. It just looks like a big goal post of some sort but I can promise you this does work and it does trap spinos. Now some of you who are familiar with some of my other content and my other traps might think this looks very similar to another trap I designed and it is. It's pretty much an adapted version of my Rex trap but it is different, so pay attention if you want to use this to catch a spino. If you're interested in the Rex trap, I will link that in the description below so you can check that out too. But essentially, this is a 12-piece trap. It's a little bigger, but it's the biggest trap design that I've done. I'd like to try and find something smaller, but when I was notified that this could potentially be adjusted to use for a spino, I got to work just trying to adjust it to get it to work for a spino, and it does so. This is the trap. We're going to get started by showing you how it works. And I've got myself a pen with a spino in over there. And over here, I have myself a little keypad. So I'm just going to get this activated. The gates will open. And we'll start off by kiting this in on a mount. We will use an RG because people just love RGs, right? RGs are great. So we're going to get in here. We're going to aggro the spino. Give it a little, give it a little twack. Come on, follow us this way. And I'm just going to fly straight down along the ground and through the trap here. Spino should be following and it shouldn't get any obstructions. It should just simply drop into the trap like so. And as long as that steps over the foundations there, it is trapped and it won't be able to get out. So that is the trap there being used with a mount. You can use any mount you like, obviously, as long as it can fit through the trap. So there's quite a few choices. Just make sure it's faster than the Spino, right? Otherwise, you're going to be in for a headache. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to build this. I'll then show you how to kite the Spino in on foot. And then finally, I'll go over a few of the finer details and even show you how you can catch more than one Spino at the same time with this, if you fancy. I wouldn't bother, but it's an interesting extra. Let's show you how to build this trap then. I've got a new Spino in the pen and everything I need in my pocket, so we should be good to go. Like I say, this is a 12 structure trap. Hopefully I can come up with something better in the future. But for now, you are going to need three stone foundations, six stone pillars, and three stone roofs. Now, like I say, it is similar to my Rex trap, but it is also different. So pay attention, make sure you follow this carefully to get the trap to work. Now, the first thing you want to do is face the spino you plan to trap, because we're going to be essentially building this trap backwards so wherever the spino is going to be coming from you want to be facing when you build the trap otherwise it won't work so i'm going to look at the pen and i'm going to line myself up where i think i would like the trap to be the next step is to get out the stone foundation and to place this and raise it to its highest point now you'll notice i'm on a slight bank here so what i need to do is start on the higher side of the bank to place the first one to make sure this gets full ground clearance. So I'm going to place that, look up to raise it and then snap it. Then I can snap two more to the side and you should have a three wide foundation base. Now it's important that you get this height, that you get this clearance so that the spino can fit underneath the ramps up there at the top of the trap. If it can't fit under them, it's just gonna walk around the trap. Now, the reason we placed the foundations very carefully facing forwards is because pillars, which we're going to be placing next, only snap facing one direction, no matter which corner you put them in on a foundation. And what that means is, because they face a certain direction, the roofs that we've got on the top can only face in certain directions. If I built these pillars here, on this corner and try to snap those roofs to the top, they would go over the foundation facing the same direction as the ones there. So you've got to get the foundations the right way around for this to work. And we are going to put the pillars at the front corners on the outside of the foundations. And we're going to go three high for this trap. We're then going to do the exact same 
on the opposite side. And you'll see what I mean here. When I get the roofs out, notice I am not changing these. These are staying as roofs. When I look to that top corner, I get the snap point that I want. And that makes the trap work. If I'd built this facing the other direction, the roofs would also face in the other direction. So that's the only way you can get this right. But that's the trap built. It's super quick, super easy. Just make sure that when you're building this, you get the right clearance off the ground by getting the foundations at the full height at the highest side of the terrain. And then also face the direction you want the creature to enter the trap from. So the roofs will point in the correct direction. Once you've done that, trap's done. Like I say, it's built, it's looking good, it'll work. Now, to get this to work, you have to run under the ramps and up onto the foundations while the spino is following you. And what happens is it can get under the roof because we've raised those foundations high enough, but it gets stuck between the top of the roof and the edge of the foundation here. As long as it steps up on to the foundations, trapping it and keeping it stuck so make sure you build that exactly how i've done it and you shouldn't have any problems like i say though we've got another spino in the trap i also have myself a long neck here so let's just get this open the gate should open and i can stand in front of this trap shoot the spino and just kite it through as long as i'm fast enough my issue is going to be can i get this to aggro so it comes out of the trap right it's on us hopefully is it turning? Is it turning? You can make it. There we go. I'm just going to run through and stand on the other side. And the spinal will follow me straight in. Make sure it steps up onto the foundations. There we go. It's almost like a little sag when that happens. And that means it is trapped. It's well in there. So make sure you get it to step up. And at this point, you can knock your spinal out. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'll get this trunked out. I'll get it tamed up and we will have a spinal so yeah i'll be right back with you and i'll show you how you can get this out of the trap without destroying the full trap and also show you a few little extras you might find useful when using this or if it's not quite working for you what i will be doing is feeding this its favorite food when it is knocked out so you need to make sure you've got yourself some exceptional kibble or i would just use prime fish meat if you can get that because it does a great job and yeah it's it's a little bit easier to obtain early game so we'll get this tamed up like i say we'll get it sorted as soon as it is knocked out we've got to take it out first so i'm just going to go through the whole process so you can see that this is well and truly stuck and i can get it tamed up the proper way you know i don't want to sell you the dream right I promise this works there's a lot of people will try traps that i make and it won't work and it always comes down to just a slight error in their placement or the piece that they've used. And I think it's because the game is quite complicated. Like, that is a stone roof, but it can be a ramp, it can be stairs, it can be all sorts. So just make sure that you're using the correct version of the pieces. And that is the spino down and ready for me to take. Howie, it's time. Have your last bite. Got these big teeth, this big mouth. You can only eat one little bit of fish at a time every five minutes can you hurry up there we go beautiful and that is our spino tamed which is magnificent it's going to whistle to stop that wiggling around and as you can see as well and truly stuck in the trap now at this point you want to get your spino out and of course you could use a cryopod but there's also another way if you don't have one which keeps the trap pretty much all together so you do minimal destruction to it i'm just going to saddle up my spino there got that saddle crafted and i'll just prove i hope that this can't get out and have a little walk around in all directions well and truly stuck in the trap there let's get off though and show you how I like to get my spinos out. It's real simple. All you're going to do is pick up the center foundation, just like on my Rex trap, and this baby will walk straight out through that little gap, and you are free to use your spino however you wish. And to reset the trap, all you do is pop that one foundation back, and you're ready to get your next spino. So I recommend setting this up in a spot where you know spino spawn, facing the area they tend to be in, and then you can just come back and reuse the trap as you wish. But that is how you build the trap. That is how you use the trap. And that is also how you get your spinal out. 
ready to take home and use. So enjoy your spino, I guess. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to collapse this trap and I'm going to show you a few things that might help you with the build and also change things up so you can see how to trap more than one spino at once. I know I just said that I was going to take this trap down, but I've changed my mind. I think it's going to be easier to show you how to catch more than one spino in one trap by just in this one here and just cracking on. So it is super easy. It's as simple as adding in foundations and roofs to the side and expanding the trap sideways. So we are going to do that. Now you want to start not at the lowest foundation. You want to expand out at the highest point. You should not have your foundations going lower than this point or the spinals will slip out of the sides. So I'm just going to get these and continue across the higher section like so. I'm then going to pick up these pillars because obviously I need these at the end. These foundations should snap to the others, meaning these pillars will automatically face the correct way. And then I'm going to get out the roofs and just snap all the way across. And I'm hoping this trap isn't going to cause any issues or conflict here. But I've got two spinos and we'll use the RG again just because I feel like I'm going to need to to make sure I get both of these on me without taking any hits. So, well, I'm going to take hits, but the RG will be taking them for us. So let's go and aggro these and just try and kite them in. I want both aggroed, not just the one. And we are going to head for that bigger, wider trap. Just make sure these are following us all the way. Looks like they are. We go straight through as usual. And we're just going to park up here. And both need to step up on the foundation. That one there is stopping that one from stepping up. Are they up? Are they up? Are they on? It looks like they might be. And these guys, believe it or not, because they are being pinched between that roof and the foundation, are trapped, right? And the pillars stop them coming out of the side. So he can try as much as he wants. But we have multiple spinos trapped in the one trap. And I think it's just a bit daft and a little bit of a cool extra result of how the trap works. You can build this as long as you want and the spinos will just slide sideways and stay in the trap as well. So you want to catch three, four, five, just build it wider. As long as your foundations stay above the height of the first foundation that you placed. So yeah, have fun with that. Knock as many spinos out as you can. Let us know how many you managed to get in the comments. I think that would be interesting. I am going to delete this trap now, though. Going to get rid of that. And I'm just going to go over a few bits that will fine-tune the trap if you are having issues building it. It is troubleshooting time. I'm going to try and make sure that you get this trap working, even if you followed all of the steps earlier correctly and you're still having issues. Or at least I'm going to explain things in a little bit more detail so you understand and can make the best use of this trap as possible. Now, you'll notice I've built this trap in a fairly flat location. I would always recommend that. It's gonna make your traps work better with the way the pathfinding works in the game, but I know that's not always possible. This is Ark. It is mad when it comes to the terrain and how uneven it is in this game. So, I'm going to move up onto the hill here, onto this bank, just to show you what you can do to make sure this trap works because it gets a little bit tricky when it comes to banks. Now, the first thing is, I have explained to you that you need to raise the foundations so that the spinal can get under the roof. When you are on a hill, if you build looking up the hill, obviously the roofs are gonna be closer to the ground when you are running down the hill to try and get the spinal in. So you must always build this trap downhill to make sure that the spinal can get under the roofs. One of the ways we can help improve getting some height on a bank, just in case there are some issues, is by doing a little trick that I found fairly early in the game. If you notice, I'm going to place this and raise it up. I'm going to pop that down and pop that down. And we obviously get quite a bit of height here, which is lovely. But there are situations where we might want to get more height. One of the ways we can do that is by placing a foundation, lowering it all the way down and then snapping one at the highest snap point to it. And you'll see we get a little bit of extra height. So that can help if you have to come down a hill and you just need a little bit of extra height. Or if you wanna run stairs or something down from here and even on a bank or the flat, 
you need that little bit of extra height that is one way you can get it talking though about the bank the reason why we're here is you also want your traps to run parallel to the slope if i build like this and i go off the slope not only am i going to lose my snap point but the trap isn't in line with the terrain it's at a different height here than it is over here and it can cause some issues with the spinal getting up and onto the foundations or give it an option to get out of the trap right so you want to make sure that when you are placing on any sort of slope that when you run left or right you are parallel to the slope and that it looks the same kind of angle and distance below you all the way down you can then place your first foundation on a bank you don't really have to raise the foundation you'll see there's not much wiggle room anyway which is why that other method i just shown you for raising a foundation is quite helpful in certain situations but you still want to if you can and you're just going to line that up with the slope so the spinal is going straight up the slope and straight over the foundations you can check from this side just by looking how high up the foundation is on either side and i think that's pretty similar we've got two and a half bricks there and about two and a half bricks there so that would be parallel and that would be good placement for the trap like i say though you might want to use stairs because i can't run up there and the spinal might be able to but if i'm stuck at the bottom it's not going to be any good so you can use some stairs they're pretty good with the pathfinding roofs still work as well and uh, i would refrain from ramps just because it's such a narrow angle that you need loads of them and you kind of want to keep your creatures off the structures for as long as possible if possible but that's just something you might need to know if you're going to try and build this on a bank on a slope on some janky terrain make sure it's high enough make sure you get your foundations high using that snap trick and make sure your foundations are parallel to the ground or any slope that you might be working on outside of that i've not really got anything else to offer for this trap i hope it treats you well i hope it works but that is everything I wanted to cover, so I'm going to call that there, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. If you've enjoyed this, if you found it useful, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. It really helps grow my channel, and I'm super grateful for all of the support. If you'd like to get more involved in the community, check out the links in the description below. It'd be lovely to see you in the Discord or something. But until next time, you guys take care, and I'll catch you later. Ciao, Rio.